Hey guys and welcome back to uh, Hidarashi. Today we are reacting to episode six, second episode into watching Hidarashi. I think we had a pretty, pretty strong start. I enjoyed a lot of it, despite them taking the whole Xion and Mion mystery thing away, pretty much. Which I, I mean, to be fair, it's probably hard to do without all of Keiichi's inner thoughts about questioning if they're real or whatever but i still thought most of it was done pretty well um and yeah episode six dude I, i'll be honest i didn't remember any episode name before this but i do remember this one this is takano haha my girl um so obviously we're gonna be getting into the watanagashi this episode um which is the same as Honor Takashi, right? I'm wondering if they're gonna jump right into it. Um, or was there anything before the Watch and Adashi from where we at from after the Mion reveal? Mion Chain reveal? Yes, 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 yes. There's. I don't know if there's anything before this, but there is that one day that Keiichi decides to help. Um, set up the festival and that's when they first meet Takano and Tomotaki and he actually gets Takano's name and then that's where Shion, and Tomotaki and Takano talk about the Curse murders and I think I mean it might be a good scene I wonder if they'll do it I guess it's not necessary but if they want to show a bit more of the relationship between Shion and Mian and the fact that Shion doesn't really like Hinamizawa it might be a good idea because the main thing you get out of it, besides the curse talk, you might get new tech, new info from that. But um, the main thing was like, Shion kind of saying she doesn't really care about Hinamizawa, and like Mian kind of getting pissed that they're talking about the curse murders. So, there's some some tension here and there. So if they do that, then great. If not, then watching Adashi into storehouse stuff, it should be fun. Also, side note. My subtitles are different in this one. I, I remember I downloaded the first season. Then um, some somebody in the comments were like, oh, the, some of the subs are like missing a word or mistimed. Just like a few of them. So somebody like fits like, it's like six episodes of subs. So I don't know. My subs might be different than yours slightly, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a word or two. Just like mistiming stuff. I'm using the Sundary subs, by the way. I don't know if that matters. I'm pretty sure it's just the. Well, I know it's the DVD rep, but I don't know if it's the actual subs. Oh, I should probably shouldn't be talking about uh, talking about that, huh? I don't know. Just a heads up. This it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Let me set this up real fast. Good to get some Hidarashi. Cutting it close. I don't know if uh, this will be a Friday or Saturday episode, to be honest. Depends if it uh, processes quick enough. I guess I can do it tonight. Mm, it's so late. <laughs> Anyways, no stall, no stall. Change the track. To, to, oh, shit, there's two tracks. Hold on. I'm not... I think it's track two then. Okay. Is it? Oh, I need to test. Sorry. <laughs> you know, if I went out of my way to uh to download different subs, I might as well check. Forgot how cursed the last episode's opening was. Yeah, yeah, it is track two. Okay, okay. Stalling is over. Time for some action. It's like they're recapping. But anyways, okay, get ready guys. This is a timer reaction. What does that mean? That means um, you have to get your own copy of the episode and we'll watch it together, full episode through and through, all the way to the end, because the end has uh, the burn poem. But yeah, so I will count down from three, three, two, one, go, and I'll go uh, sync up the video. Should be fun. Let's go. Three, two, 
one, go. I think this is the first time they've ever done a recap, actually. It's kind of interesting. Whoa, mini recap with Takano. Dude. I mean, it made sense why that's the title. What? Why did they even do that recap, dude? <laughs> it's literally like five seconds. That was weird, actually, if you think about it. Weird choice. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any small talk for this, to be honest. I can't think of any. No, no Hidarashi news. I think my next Hidarashi non-anime reaction video is gonna be... Because I, I actually like this idea. I don't even know if it's that good. But it sounds fun to me, at least. So I'll probably do it... It's May right now, right? Sometime in May? Hopefully, like, by the end of it. And do, like, a CG rating. I don't know if I'll split it up into question and answer, but, like... Basically, like, going through Onotakushi, Watanadashi, getting all the CGs, and then, like, sort of ranking them. And then maybe out of, like, the four, rank which one I like out of the question arc. And then you can do the same with the answer arc, and then crown the best CG. <laughs> I don't know. So it's fun. Probably will do that. All right. Yeah, they are doing this setup first. Nice. Made sense. I would never get used to my bros. Er, my bros. Keiichi Swage, dude. It's so weird. It's cool, but it's so weird. Anyways, we should still have some good vibes for a while. Until, like, the end of the episode, maybe. Depends how far they go. They like to do cliffhangers, so... Probably will be more than just the storehouse. Not gonna lie, though, Shion. <laughs> Shion is kind of a bitch, huh? <laughs> I mean, you know... You look at the alternate ending in wa in Mayatashi. There is universes where Shion like legitimately falls in love with Keiichi and not Satoshi or gets over Satoshi but this is <laughs> this is some hardcore bullying. Yo Squad up. Dude, Takano's like color contrast. It's a little so glowy. <laughs> like I said, I, I mean, I don't know if I need to keep saying it, but. Oishi. Oishi and Takano look really good in this anime, in my opinion. I like them more than uh, their sprites. The, you know, the PS3 sprites, anyways. That's a nice touch. We can talk on that. The difference between the looks. Because I remember it described Mian as aggressive and Xi'an's as, uh... Kind of aggressive? Like, she didn't like him, but not as aggressive. Yeah, I'm still packing the dun. <laughs> uh, never get over that.
Ooh. Yeah, I guess they skipped that part, huh? Where Mion dressed up as Xion, talked about the past of the dam and stuff, and that's how Teach you would know. But you don't have that in the anime, so it's a little more anonymous. Makes you think a bit more towards the answer. But yeah, this is actually pe a lot of these. Well, besides the murder part, KT already knew. <laughs> they're just going. I love how they're just going straight at it, huh? It's a lot to take in. So maybe they were just going hard in the novel, but you know, Keiichi's thoughts made it seem less direct. It's interesting they said that line. I'm pretty sure Kichi was supposed to say there's no such thing as curses. Because <laughs> it kind of seems weird. But it kind of made sense for talking to characters, huh? She also likes to bully, kind of like Shion. So it's a funny line when you first read that and you're like, shouldn't I have asked that, Takano? <laughs> okay, we're early morning watching Adashi. It's kind of weird. Did they go early morning last time? No, right? This is not early morning, but... That's pretty, like, it looks like the afternoon. Thumbnail? Thumbnail bait? Thumbnail bait? Wait, is this the same? I think it is the same, just different order. As, uh, episode two. Can we get more of the dance? I remember. I was like, oh man, they're showing this? I mean, I guess we wouldn't get more of the dance on the search. <laughs> Actually, I guess in any arc for a while. <laughs> Good one. I wonder how much exposition are they actually going to give in the storehouse scene. Because that's how the storehouse scene really is. <laughs> I wonder how long they're going to linger in there since it's going so fast, right? Teachy, just run away. <laughs> well, I'm actually interested in seeing how this looks. Hopefully it looks sick.
Ooh. No light scene, huh? I feel like that. Oh, that's cool. In the background, it always looked like kind of small, so it was less intimidating. <laughs> like it looked at least like Keiichi size. <laughs> I do kind of wish they did Keiichi accidentally turning on the lights, but what we can talk about that after. I thought that was a good touch to the scene. But yeah. They're not really showing the torture devices. I hope they show more. That does look really creepy, though. <laughs> oh, Oh, here it up. What would you even use? Huh? Oh man. <laughs> this is this exposition scene. It's actually so fast paced, huh? I mean kinda called it. There's the CG, dude. Xi'an holding Keiichi. I wonder, I guess, I guess it really was just a fun hobby for her, huh? What I, I haven't really thought about why, but it, at the end, I guess it is just a hobby. Or maybe it's to f play the role better. And run. That was all right. I think that was a little too mind floody. <laughs> But, yeah. I mean, as an adaptation, I don't know how that would be as a first impression, though. Might be sick. Probably take out your notebooks. Lots of info, information. Really aids in the conspiracy theory. Village conspiracy theory. Back then, for sure. Though the bloody past. I love this hint, dude. I didn't really realize it until, like, Mina Doroshi. But this was such a good hint. That, uh... Sh only Shion and... Tomotaki? I don't know if they say it in this one, but... Or in Mayakashi. But, yeah. I know that only Shion and Tomotaki can hear. Once you figure that out... It's like, so cool. <laughs> that was fast. Okay, that's a little different. <laughs> they can literally see Xi'an just running away. Ah. <laughs> uh. I got kind of lost because of the Rika jumpster. But yeah, it's a really cool hint. I wonder if anyone like really put that together pre, uh, pre-Wata, or pre, 
Mina, Karochi. I mean, these guys should have saw Shion. They literally just pulled up while she was running down the stairs, <laughs> like a second later. <laughs> but it's kind of awkward like that, huh? Think in the novel, he was kind of just wandering around, and they kind of met up like a couple of minutes later, so they wouldn't be able to see Shion just <laughs> zoom away. Okay, so that watch it actually was just the halfway point, huh? Oh, well, not really halfway. The halfway point came pretty late. What happens after? Oh. Okay, they skip. I guess it doesn't really matter. The trip to school. This should be interesting, actually. Observing this stuff. It's a nice hint, dude. Watching it actually is so good with this stuff. It's such a fun chapter to re relook at, huh? Cause I'm sure I don't know. I don't want to talk to the majority, but when when I read that line, I was like, oh shit! I thought it was like more of a threatening, threatening thing from a uh, neon when they asked it then to make sure Kichi was in line. That was cool. But yeah, watching it off, she's pretty goaded for me. Straight. Straight cock block. <laughs> oh. Wait. <laughs> what kind of conversation were you gonna have, Shion? You called him over to talk and you had to leave in literally a minute. Sonozaki info drop. Look at that pose by Oishi. Come on, bro. <laughs> Looking good. Dude, Kuma Dai looks so stuffed. I hope they give him a glow up by the answer. It's, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Kuma Dai. Mm, I don't know about that change. It's a lot more threatening in the visual novel. Oh, are they, my scene, I love this scene, I love this scene, oh, do it justice, please, this scene is so good, give me some good cagey streams. Oh, uh, maybe not yet, okay. I don't remember fully. Oh. Oh yeah, do it. Come on. <laughs> that was kind of funny.
Yeah. This was pretty freaky too, learning that info. Dude, I'm just waiting for the freak out. I want it so bad. Please, please don't trim it. It's one of my favorite Watchmen Ashi scenes. Not bad. Okay, at least they didn't trim it. That does put a smile to my face. I love his screaming montage. It was a lot more... I think it was just louder. <laughs> but that could just be a volume thing on my end. In the visual novel. And obviously they cut down on some of his uh, lines. And some of Keiichi's thoughts. But that screaming scene was so good from Keiichi. At least the subs, they still did the... How are you gonna take responsibility? That was so funny. <laughs> Such a line, dude. But yeah, uh, jam to the ending once more, and then we'll do an analysis. So I think this analysis might be shorter. This episode doesn't really have a lot of, like, at least in my opinion, like, moments I really loved in the visual novel. Um, besides some cool hints and stuff. So yeah. But we'll go over it, as per usual. Also oh, confirmed curry contest is trimmed. Unlucky curry fans. Now 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 they don't know Chia's curry obsession, dude. How are the anime theory makers not have the vital information that Chia loves curry? Oops. No, I just wanted to check. Ignore me, by the way. I'm not. No, I guess we'll never know. That's episode name. Lies. I like how they just showed the Takano name card it on. So good they named it twice. Oops. Alright, thank you for watching if that was it. Um, if you're just here for that. We're gonna be going over um over this some of the scenes, some some comparisons, my thoughts. Let me just open this bad boy up again. I kinda hate how VOC once the episode finishes, it just closes. So you can't go back. Alright. Oh, so this is what I wanted to... Oh, no. I think there might have been some, uh... Some lag. <laughs> Sorry for lagging, dude. But I don't know. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, so... First off, we, we went to the... To the setup. Setup scene. I think that's... I think it was done pretty well. Um... The build up to the setup scene wasn't really important, I guess. Um, the cup stuff with Mion and Shion was was good. <laughs> it was a good scene. <laughs> the visual novel and in the anime. Then you had the talk. Um, the little the little Oishi glance was nice. Like I said in the episode, showing that both sisters don't like Oishi, but Mion likes him. A lot less than Xi'an. Um, the talk itself was fine, I think. Like, besides that, like, kind of awkward point, I think, which I said in the episode. Um, it was fine. It was fine. But it's just the explanation scene, right? I, I don't know how much it... I guess it did. Yeah, yeah. It was good. 
I was trying to say, I don't know how much it conveyed that she didn't really like Hina Mizawa, but obviously it did, because she was suggesting the murder, right? Which is, imp it's pretty important. Oh, that's really weird. Now that I think about it, it's kind of weird. Because, um, we talked about it in the last episode, but, uh, you know, how the whole, uh, when the, a bunch of people came and surrounded, uh, the delinquents and stuff to scare them off from bullying Keiichi. In the visual novel, that's Neon. And it kind of made sense that, um, the villagers kind of rallied with her. But this time it was Shion. Though I guess, it's, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just interesting detail. Kind of makes more sense with, once you figure out it's Miyane. Like, if you're like, oh, this is a conspiracy thing, it made sense that they were following her and not Shion. If you want to get into all that jazz. But I thought this one was fine. But it's not like it's like a super intense scene or anything. Then they do the festival stuff. They actually think, I think they do just show the same quick images for the, for the games. Just in a different order. Which is kind of nifty, right? It's kind of cool because for the theorists, you know, it makes you... Yeah, so I also mentioned it in the talk where Keiichi's like, oh yeah, I know about the dam. And if you're just an anime viewer only, you're probably like, Ooh, how does Keiichi know about the dam? But if you actually read the visual novel, you know that it's not like some some new tech because Mian actually explained it to Keiichi. So it's not like more than it seems. But with the anime, it kind of points you in a different direction with that. And then you had the and the whole festival like image thing was kind of helps with that too which is fine i mean again anime only viewers with a lot less um information giving hints like that is helpful if if you want to guide them to the truth a bit then meeting Takino and tomotaki outside that was fine i think again it was not cut out the banter about them Having a little secret date, but made sense. Then we had the whole storage scene. I'll be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Not like I'm a huge fan of the scene in general in Watanadashi. I did love the giant Oyasho statue, like I said in the visual novel. Since it's just a background image, it looks like pretty, pretty tiny. <laughs> but this one looks really intimidating. Um... So a couple of things about this scene, I, they they trimmed the beginning segment where they're like in an entranceway and Keiichi turns on the light and then Shion's like, what the heck are you doing? And then turns it off after a couple of seconds. And I really like that scene because it adds a lot of tension and theory crafting potential once crazy shit happens and you're like oh wow how do they know that tomotaki taught in okichi and shion entered and then you like one of my early thoughts anyways i don't know again i'm speaking as the majority but obviously i'm not but i'm just thinking if i can think of it then probably other people can too um that like the main reason these four got caught was because keichi turned on the light and someone saw them because of that or like put out a spotter or someone just spots in general, but I think it was a good scene to add to that. At least that's what I used to think. Um, I kind of wish they showed more of the torture room, like got a nice little over, like a pan shot or something. It's very like constricted whenever you see it, because in the visual novel, there's just torture devices piled one after another, and there is a lot here. It's just like never really get like a clear shot. You see some of the the ones you see in the novel with the Iron Maiden, but yeah. Then the scene itself is just, it's just like history exposition. It's interesting, but even in the visual novel, it's, it gets a little tiring. The whole talk about the origin of Yasho sama the, what was it like? The god from the sea, how like gods are mistaken from foreigners or whatever. The whole Ani stuff, it's, it's interesting, but... I was thinking, how are they going to really adapt that since this is such a faster pace? And what they do is basically they choose some bits, like they trimmed a lot of the other stuff, but and they just go freaking rapid fire. So 
it was definitely a mind flood for me. But yeah, not not my favorite thing. Sorry, Takino. I know it's your moment to shine. <laughs> then you have the outside stuff. The cool hint about Xion hearing a noise and Keiichi doesn't. Now, this hint doesn't really translate as well as it does in the visual novel. Just because they trimmed that whole, the whole thing from Anu Takashi. Because if you're an anime viewer only, you wouldn't know. But Keiichi was hearing noises in Anu Takashi. That no one else could hear which made him paranoid and if you connect the dots and you're like oh Keiichi didn't hear it but this time Shion heard it mm -hmm. and I think it might have been Mayatashi but there's definitely in either Watanadashi or Mayatashi Tomotaki also hears the noise and I think I think it is Watanadashi but they did trim that which they might not be playing to that hint as much but it is a good hint in general especially when you uh, find out the truth I was like when I, th when I realized it, I'm like, oh shit, that's so good. I wonder if people, I'm, I'm sure people did get that in their theory crafting. I never picked up on it until you get the whole, the answer th to the puzzle, then the pieces made sense. But yeah, that was cool. I think that, I still think it's kind of funny that they're doing the little talk and then literally like, let me play this. Kate, like they're talking she just runs down the stairs and literally a second later Rika freaking jumps on Keiji <laughs> like a second so obvious there's no way they can't see Shion just running down the stairs it's a little silly I wish they would at least put some distance and stuff like they're right outside of the shrine right or maybe they're not right outside it kind of looks like they're right outside but I guess they could have relocated at least put a little bit of time passing before she runs away. But yeah, that happens. Now this is the interesting part, analyzing, observing me on during the next couple of episodes. I wonder like how much they'll give away. But this whole this whole thing with uh the night before, Mion asks, did you see Shion? Then Mion in the morning, did you see Shion? It's a great hint. I mean, obviously, you probably watched Hidarashi, but... And I, I I, mean, I warned you, but... Obviously, you should know that that's not Mion, that is Shion, because of events that we'll talk about more in Mayatashi. Pretending to be Mion, so it's a nice switcheroo, which... And that's why, like... At least to me in the visual novel, it comes off like, when you first hear that, when, like, someone asks you the same exact question again the next day, it's like... To me, it sounded like Mian was giving Keiichi a, a second chance to admit, like, his, uh, his wrongdoings or whatever. But obviously, it's a whole different notion, because Xian was just limit-testing Keiichi in, when you learn in Mayatashi. But she didn't know this question was asked, so she played it off very well. <laughs> that came off very creepy when she said, oh, I was just expecting, uh... I was just expecting a different answer if I asked you again. That's that's such a good good line. But yeah, this they just skip the the meet up to school, which shows more hints pointing that Xion was pretending to be Mion, like Xion being late, out of breath and stuff, which is different. Oh, uh, well, not out of breath, but just late, I guess. Then you have the whole library scene. It's kind of a meme too <laughs> that uh. Actually, I guess it's not. For some reason, I thought it seemed like when Keiichi said, when Oishi introduced himself and Keiichi was like, oh, on the phone. I thought, like, they changed it so Shion wanted Keiichi to meet Oishi. But I don't know. Maybe it's just a weird line. But yeah, Shion left. Ke the whole Oishi interrogates Keiichi, revealing sort of the mafia side, her Yakuza side of the Sonazakis. Um, I don't think this, <laughs> too much I, what have they done to you? This was, uh, obviously, this was edited for, um, the OG sprites, which I'm sure Kumidai never had, but he, it's just so weird looking at him. He's so different. <laughs> My boy. I'm so, I mean, they did Tomotaki and Okamura, right? I doubt they did our real sprite. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever. I then pray for the Kumidai glow up in future episodes. But yeah, this whole interrogation was a lot more forceful. 
in the visual novel. Like it played the same in the beginning, but near the end where Uishi was asking if he saw Tomotachi Takano or Shion, he started actually like grabbing Keiichi instead of like putting I don't know how much he did. I don't know if he actually pulled pressure, but he was definitely like grabbing him and like looking him in the eye before Kumadai came and he's like, Oh, Uishi, it's time to go, the library's closing and then uh then they leave. But it was a lot more spookier. And then Oishi it's always slit that Oishi just drops the Oh yeah, I saw you with Shion Tomotaki and Takano anyway, so just to jog your memory since you weren't uh since you seemed a bit forgetful. So that was a, always a nice slap back. Then we get the phone scene. Dude, this is such a good scene in the visual novel. Like piled with Keiichi's thoughts. It's like, oh all of a sudden my the dam holding all my emotions broke and then all the screaming. It's so it's actually a master class of voice acting. I really suggest that if you haven't if you're an anime only um anime only listener or viewer i guess then you should definitely check out that scene in watanadashi you can find it fairly easily you just look at pure watanadashi stuff i'm sure there's stuff on youtube or you can check out my playlist though i do commentate over it probably squealing over it so it's such a good voice acting piece by tg and i haven't said it much in the anime but tg has some really good voice acting appear um not appearances, but parts throughout Hidarashi. He does a really good job. I think a lot of people do, but Keiichi is really standout. Sadly, we didn't get to see, um... And then they cut the chase scene, which has a lot of good voice acting by Keiichi. But we did see some chops. Some voice acting chops here with this. Lashing out at, uh... Shion. It's a lot less... It's good. They kept some of the lines. They cut a, a bit, but they do a good job, I guess. I kind of like... It's a small thing, but I, I love the scene. I wish they didn't show Shion hanging up. Instead, like, Keiichi just... Because in the vision now, where Keiichi's just freaking screaming his head off. He's like, huh? Do you hear me? And then the phone just hangs up, so it's more sudden. I don't know. It's, it's not too big of a deal, but I think they did a decent job. At least they didn't cut it, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, overall decent episode. I didn't. I think all the events that happened besides the final one, it's not. It's nothing like too exciting for me. Um, so I'm fine with it being like sort of eh, eh on the adaptation part. Um, but yeah, now we're getting into the the juice. So what's gonna happen after this? We do. Do the whole Kim Yoshi disappearing thing. Despite watching it actually being my favorite. I'm kind of... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some good stuff. We're definitely going to do the... The Yun... Yungin stuff after the latter stuff. Okay, the next episode's going to have a lot of... Next, I guess the next two episodes for this are going to have a lot of the scenes that I really love, so... Pray, pray they do it justice. Or, you know, at least do their best. But yeah, thank you for watching. As always, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you next time with some more Hidrashi. Thanks for watching. Bye!